Hey Bella Babies, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shay Bella here and in today's video, as you can see from the title below, is going to be an updated makeup routine video. So if you're interested in watching this video and seeing how I got this final look, please stay tuned and without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. going to do my eyebrows first so the first thing i'm going to do is use the Aries fun loose face powder in natural neutral this is how it looks and i'm just going to set my eyebrows in place so it'll be easy for me to do it Okay, so now that my brows are set, I'm going to use the spoolie and brush my hairs up. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe uh, brow cream in the color chocolate mousse. This is how the container looks. And this is how it looks inside. So the chocolate mousse is like a dark brown. And I'm going to just use my eyebrow brush and just tap it in there. And the first thing I'm going to do is do a, a, a outline on the bottom of my eyebrow. And I'm only doing one eyebrow on camera. And I'm going to brush my hairs down and do a line on the top as well. And then I'm going to brush it, I'm going to brush my eyebrows here to the shape of the outline. And then I'm just going to fill it in using the same brow cream. Okay, so this is how it looks now. And it doesn't have to be perfect for the outline por portion. It just has to be the width and length of your eyebrows so it'll be easier for you to shape it up. So now I'm just gonna clean up the front. Starting on the bottom with the Pro Girl Concealer and the Juvia's Place Concealer in the color number 10. I'm just going to mix these two.
if you guys want to know i use the covergirl true blend matte made foundation in the color d50 which is a warm tawny color and i'm just gonna put it on my arm like this And then I'm just gonna do the same thing like how I did with the concealer. But this time I'm just gonna start on top to give the eyebrow an arch. This part I'm not gonna talk, y'all. I don't even know how to, I want y'all to see this shoot. <clears throat> y'all it took me so long to do my eyebrows and i still don't like them but i'm going to move on um so yeah so now i'm going to do foundation uh by taking the same covergirl true blend matte made in dh and i'm going to take my foundation brush this is a juvia's face uh foundation brush i don't know how much it was it was a gift um so yeah so I'm just gonna pour on like some and then see if I need to pour on more because it's I'd rather it be less makeup than a bunch of makeup and then it looks cakey. So and under as y'all know under here is my problem area. I had a little a uh, couple bumps there, so hopefully I don't break up more by now I am. Now I'm just going to blend with the same brush that I told you. I'm going to do the Juvia's Place uh, Concealer in the color 10. This is a lighter shade, but my concealer is not working. I'm going to put on a little bit, not too much, not too less. Let's see how that looks. Okay, and then, and, all right, and then 
I'm just gonna let it sit on my face for a couple minutes so it can warm up. I don't know why it needs to sit on my face to warm up. I guess to make um, to make it blend better. But it's dry. I'm going to just blend it out using this angled flat brush. Well, angled blender brush. And I'm gonna start with this part. to do at this point is really because normally I don't mix it I even scared to go on this arm to go onto my forehead Now I'm just going to contour with the True Complexion Contour Palette from medium to dark. This is how it looks. And when you open it, oh shit. When you open it, this is the contour that I'm going to use. Then this is the sculpt. And then this was the highlight. So I'm just going to use this brush because I can't find any other brush to do it with. I'm going to put the eyebrow. really like intense I 
kind of like lightly put it in there and that's the crazy part and then I'm going to contour the nose Angle brush and just blend everything. Not everything, but blend my contour out because it looks a little harsh. So that's what I'm gonna use this brush for because it is an angled brush. Voila. better but now I'm gonna take the Morphe uh, setting powder in the banana rich y'all I'm tired I just have to run down the stairs okay and now I'm just going to put on the setting powder and I'm not going to brush I'm just gonna pat Brush, I believe. I'm not sure. To be honest, I just wing this. I wing everything. I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use my loose powder. And I'm gonna take this book type of brush and lay it in here. Almost done, guys. Almost done. I don't look like a potato, so that's good. So now I'm just going to put my setting spray, which is the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. This is my favorite one. Yeah, shot it. dry I'm just gonna put away some stuff here it's a hot raspberry blush powder but I just don't know what company got it I don't know but sorry y'all I'm rushing at this point I still don't remember when I come out I show what I have to do when I come. okay let me smile put like a little like oh my god oh shit yeah. And then you do it on the other side. I don't know if y'all can see, y'all can see. And then I put some on my nose a little bit. That's what I feel like that's cute. Perfect. And then I put that in with 
my foundation brush as well in case it's like a little too light and then I use my glow kit Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit I'm going to use this color for the highlights Normally, I wet it with the setting spray, but I don't want it too in depth. I don't want to see it. And then I do this side. Not really able to see it. Something wrong with this eye. I don't understand what, what's going on with the eye. And then I put some on my nose. Okay. And then that as well. I don't know what's going on here with this eye. Okay, cool. Her, 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 her. And then I set it again. I'll be back with the finished look. I'm gonna put on my eyelashes off camera and nail gloss too. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. If you guys are interested in knowing what I am wearing on my lips, this is the Bella Natural uh, Color Legally Blonde, which is the shade like a bubblegum pink, and the scent is bubblegum. So if you guys are interested in shopping with me, the link would be in the description box below. Well, will be in the description box below. From Ross, let's just say Ross. And then I got these pants from Walmart, it was $7. And I got this jacket from Walmart um, that was $24. And then this hair is whatever. And then this headband I got from Amazon because I'm not paying $30 for no headband, period. I did my nails this is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you think about this look and what you think about this outfit and I'll see you in the next one bye